it's Don here from the board. Thank you for coming along and checking out another one of our videos. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a audible and visual sound comparison between some clicky switches. Now, most people who probably follow uh, my videos and the podcasts and whatnot will know that I have a preference for clicky switches. Uh, it's just, I like the sound of them and I like the having that audible feedback. But what are clicky switches really like? Now, I have had a video before of my old switch tester, which I unfortunately still have not got back. Uh, but people have been kind enough to send me some switches as well to kind of compensate and uh, sort of restock on a switch collection, which is really great. Thank you very much. Uh, but I thought I'd do something in regards to being able to visualize and actually see as well as hear what these clicky switches are like that I currently have in my collection. So now what I've done is I've mounted all my clicky switches available to me that fit in this normal form factor of the 60% plate. And some of these are a little bit unusual, but I'll go through them as we go. So first of all, over on this side is a cherry blue, pretty standard. This is actually a Gatoron blue, but it's in a cherry housing because the person had done some uh, mod swaps around. This is a standard cherry green, a Gatoron green, and a Razor green. Down here we have a Fosen, an Aristotle, and an SMK white. And then we've got the Kale, uh, I think that's the, the bronze, or copper, and then that's the, the gold, and then there is a Kale box white. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cycle between these different switches and I'm going to have audacity on recording so you can actually see the waveform and the spike and uh, that way we can perhaps have a look at um, what they sound like um, I guess what a look of what they sound like is so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to have these set in a way that will leave them relatively, uh, I suppose, stable and undisturbed um, in some capacity. Just thinking about how I can position this. And then I'll cut the, suppose, the, the cameras because they don't really serve much function um, and I'll talk through it. But what I've got here is I've actually got Audacity open and so I'm just going to start a recording in Audacity and you'll see uh, some waveforms obviously of me talking that kind of thing and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop the microphone down nice and low so that you can get an appreciation of what the switches are actually behaving like and of course I'll mention through each of the switches and because the microphone is going to be placed nice and low and close at a fairly even distance we'll get a reasonable representation of what their sounds and peaks are like compared to each other so I've repositioned the microphone now and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get something useful the first switch that I'm going to be applying will be the cherry blue Got to wait for some uh, vehicle movements to go past there. Okay, so let's have a look at the MX Cherry Blue. So it's fairly stable, um, nice, clean sort of pattern, reasonable height. Now let's have a look at the Gatoron Blue. We can see that the actual amplitude is a little bit higher, so I'm going to go Cherry Blue, Gatoron Blue, Cherry Blue, Gatoron Blue. You can see there's definitely a notable difference in their amplitudes. Moving along to the greens, so this is a cherry green.
the gator on green. Pattern is actually much lower and softer, but that's definitely audible. So cycling between the cherry and the gator on greens. You can see there's a that up down pattern in. And then of course for comparison here is the razor green. So you can see the waveform is actually very uh, low. It's very muted. It's not a very clean or crisp in terms of the line pattern as well as the amplitude. Now moving along to our next row of switches is the Fosen. It's very similar to the uh, MX Blue by the looks of it and sounds of it. MX Blue is slightly high pitch. Fosen, which is a little bit duller. Now we look at the Aristotle. Very clean lines, very crisp lines. And then the SMK. The SMK, you can see, is very loud by comparison. Lines are very crisp, very clean. Moving on to our cow switches. So this is, uh, I think it's their, their bronze one. Uh, bronze, copper, whichever one that clicks. <laughs> you can see the amplitude is very high by comparison to all the other switches so far. It's very clean, very distinct, very crisp. Moving on to the uh, gold, with I think the click bar. Oh no, the uh, this this bronze one must be the click bar one. This is the gold one. Click bar, gold. Very very visible, notable difference in regards to that pattern. And then finally, this is the kale box white with the click bar. Very sharp. Now if I compare this to the uh, the bronze or copper one, whichever one it is, so uh, box white and then the bronze copper. Very, very similar. So obviously the click bar technology is producing fairly consistent results and probably what's making it sound different is the fact that the uh, box white stem is slightly different in construction. So the way that the chamber is echoing and reverberating and being absorbed by the actual stem no doubt would make a difference. So um, I can stop the uh, audacity recording I guess at the moment where's my mouse gone there it is stop we can see uh, that between the various different clicky switches that you can get out there on the market um, they all have unique ish I suppose uh, audio characteristics. The, the blues in terms of Gatoron and Cherry are similar, the greens, yes, but then when you get into the actual Kale series, the, the amount of crispness in those clicks is very, very distinct. Very, very distinct indeed. So if you're after something that's very clicky, um, very sharp, high pitch, then I would say the box whites and the copper bronze ones with the click bars would definitely be the choice. Um, whereas if you want something that's a little bit more muted, not as sharp, then I would say probably go with uh, the Gatoron Blue or the Gatoron Green. They tend to be a little bit more lower and duller in tone. So, uh, yeah, just something nice and simple uh, to demonstrate and show 
how some of these switches will sound different, even though they're all considered to be clicky switches, which give you a great little bit of audio feedback. So thanks very much for coming along and checking out the video, of course. Please hit like and share. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment if you have any questions or any suggestions for anything else I can do to test and show with some of the switches that I have. Um, yeah, and of course, if this is the first time that you're coming to our channel, or you've seen some of our videos before, but you haven't subscribed, would definitely love to get your subscription as well. So, fantastic. Alrighty, I think we'll call it there. So, until next time, happy clacking.